Well, it's another good uh, weekend. It's uh, the date is, of course, the 19th of uh, March. This is our third uh, week that is running in through the month of March. And, of course, we've gone three years, uh, actually three months down the road in the 2016 year. Uh, we are much honored and uh, glad that you're gruesomely on your TV set at this very top of the hour. And, of course, we run you through the whole program. We have a lot to discuss, of course. We aren't specifically looking at to discuss about the the Golda in a Misty Rally that was postponed to the second week of April. And of course, uh, coming in next is, of course, the Easter weekend uh, uh, Mountain Dew motocross round, the second round on the national motocross calendar. And of course, we should talk about the grand launch of the Ever Natin. That's Chikankane Duncan Mubiru Aris uh, Chikankane, who is also going to have a grand launch of his uh, Evo 10 coming into the trends of the Evo, taking in or taking a lead in the land of uh, Uganda. And of course, we're going to look at the Formula One down on, in Maribyrn. We're having a lot happening there faster. Uh, in the qualifying rounds, we had uh, to see actually we saw confidently the man who is at the helm, the defending champion, that's none other than the, the Bruton, Lewis Hamilton, taking in the course of the lead, uh, taking all the two. Uh, practices uh, taking in the fastest time and of course we are going to look at uh, the next rally on uh, Brock that is uh, the second round of uh, uh, the rally actually the third uh, that is going to be coming on the rally of Argentina that is going to be coming in down after a weekend a splendid weekend that happened in a fortunate ago in uh, in the way down to in Mexico. Uh, well, let's start off with uh, <coughs> Amma Frank uh, Serbuka has to present you the show. I have other guests here in studio. Uh, we have uh, the former FMU Vice Technical uh, for uh, Mr. Katena Machivi, and of course, who is now the current uh, clerk, of course, for the next coming rally on Block the NRC. And uh, after there, we shall have the uh, event manager. Uh, Eastern Model Club, uh, the organizers of uh, the event that's coming on Brock, that is, uh, that will be coming in, uh, I told you, in the second week of April after the postponement. Uh, that's none that case uh, Kagolo, the event manager. Uh, I will have them come in after my first break after the inter, and of course, we shall discuss uh, a lot uh, on the grounds uh, what's happening ahead of the second season opener at uh, the second season run on the calendar. Uh, let's start off with the uh, Formula One. Uh, there are many things that are under running in the first round of. Formula One, and of course, among us, them, of course, uh, it has been discussed that uh, as in uh, at Albert Park uh, Arena in Melbourne, much action is happening, and of course, the Formula One first uh, practices were dominated by uh, none other than uh, Team Mercedes uh, of uh, Risa Milton and Nicole Rosberg. Let's get the ambience and the walking through of the circuit of what should anticipate, uh, what you should anticipate in the head of uh, uh, the reaction happening on Sunday. Cosmopolitan places on earth. And fans come along in the droves to support home favourite Daniel Ricciardo. Let's ride on board with him and take a look at the circuit from a driver's perspective. Running down into the first corner, this is a short apex turn. You see how quickly he passes through the apex of one and then hugs the curb on the exit of two. Again, some curb use on the exit of turn three as he then runs down into the big braking zone into four, the scene of many incidents and accidents in previous Grand Prix. Through the short acceleration at turn five, you're trying to use as much of the curb as possible, not quite able to get flat through six, as he then disappears down under the trees. A lot of camber change here, which pulls the car from within the driver's hands. Coming out into the back section of the track at turn eight, easy to take flat out in the dry, caution if it's a damp race weekend, Heavy braking down into turn 9 and 10, and again, very short apex corner, so it's important for the setup of the car to be very much on the front axle. You've got to have good turning. Through the long sequence along the side of the lake into turn 11 and 12, the high speed chicane, that's when a race car really comes alive. The drivers love that section. Big stop towards the end of the lap into 13. Again, we have another tricky corner, not quite flat through 14 two corners to go is at this point you have to make the decision as a driver do I risk all or do I just go conservative a little bit wide through the apex for Daniel Ricciardo will have cost him a bit of time in the second last turn some oversteer coming off the last corner but across the line it's a fantastic way to start the Grand Prix calendar and he has a lot of home support from the Australian crowd The 
deal with marshals. I've had marshals coming through. So I'm trying to sit through with them. It doesn't matter, you've got to, everyone's got to help each other. Well, uh, that's uh, the workout uh, environment under which the team, Formula One teams, uh, respectively, get into operation. Uh, on the same line of uh, communication, the Formula One bosses meet early tomorrow as they discuss uh, the agency in the agent, uh, actually, in the, they discuss the agent uh, qualification changes. The Formula One team bosses will meet ahead of the Australian Grand Prix on Sunday early morning to discuss the agent changes of the sports qualifying system for the next race in Bahrain. Uh, amid is the backrush about the failed uh, elimination foreman, the team with teams and Berini Esclon, that's the former one boss, uh, unhappy about how the new system worked. The Amsport.com uh, have learned that the year the gathering of the team principals uh, will take place at Albert Park early in the morning of Sunday uh, to draw a way out of how the qualifying will be in the next round. You remember there were new qualifying formats here that were drawn ahead of the 2016 season that's getting underway, that has already got underway in Maribyrn, Australia. And away from there, of course, I told you earlier, as I was chewing into this for show, I told you Mercedes-Benz are uh, taking dominance of uh, the lead, and of course, they take the four position. And this Saturday afternoon, uh, the Maribyrn finally provided the pro some proper dry tire running after the Friday's damp conditions. Everyone was keen to take a full advantage as in to post the quickest time and of course so much best uh, Lewis Hamilton uh, took the lead and of course his teammate came in second and uh, it was just uh, uh, the attempts of uh, their second and uh, on record uh, Lewis Hamilton takes his fifth, uh, his fifth, fifth uh, 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 career pole position uh, calling, uh, after qualifying as the quickest of, uh, of fine running in the format that was provided in the new qualifying rounds. Away from there, we go straight away to uh, the rally of Daria, a rally of Argentina that is uh, coming in uh, actually in the month of April. And of course, there, there have been a little bit of modifications in the rally of uh, Argentina. And of course, let's get a bit of ambience uh, and see what's happening in Maribyrn before we get to break off to the WRC where we anticipate a lot in this year's action. In 1985, with the Adelaide Street Circuit, the scene of some of the sport's most famous moments, including Nigel Mansell's exploding tire in 1986 that cost him the World Championship, and the abandoned race in 1991 that remains the shortest in the sport's history. It was just completely impossible. I managed to stay on the circuit, but uh, it wasn't a race at all. Today, the race resides on the public roads around Melbourne's Albert Park, which will play host to its 21st World Championship race, 19 of those being season openers. And there have been some impressive debuts around the fast and flowing circuit, with Jacques Villeneuve and Lewis Hamilton both reaching the podium. And Mark Webber delighting the home crowd by finishing fifth for Minardi in 2002. Three drivers will make their race debuts this year with Indonesia's Rio Harihanto and Germany's Pascal Verlein driving for Mana and Britain's Jolian Palmer, the son of former F1 driver Jonathan, lining up for Renault. Albert Park has seen many memorable lead changes with David Coulthard handing victory to Mika Hakkinen in 1998. What David did was just remarkable. And Juan Pablo Montoya spinning out of the lead in 2003. I don't blame anybody but myself. This it happens. Lewis Hamilton won from pole in 2015, but starting at the front is not crucial to victory, with less than half the races having been won from pole position. Surviving first corner chaos in Melbourne is vital to a good result, though Jensen Button did hit Fernando Alonso in 2010 and still went on to win. Oh, I feel so good! Button is the most successful driver of the current field with three wins, while Lewis Hamilton and Kimi Raikkonen both have two. Fernando Alonso, Sebastian Vettel and Nico Rosberg have all stood on the top step of the podium once, but it's Michael Schumacher who has the most wins of all with four. Ferrari and McLaren are the most successful constructors in Melbourne, having scored six wins apiece. And it was here in 2014 when McLaren were last on the podium, with Kevin Magnussen, who will return this year for Renault. 
That year, Daniel Ricciardo thought he had become the first home driver to score a podium finish, but he was later disqualified from second place, meaning Mark Webber finishing fourth in 2012 remains the best result to date for an Australian in Australia. The best overtaking spots are at the end of the two DRS zones, under braking into turn one and again after the short blast down to turn three, though it's a corner that's easy to get wrong and has seen many accidents, like Martin Brundle's terrifying tumble in 1996. Well, uh, well, it's all uh, a moment of excitement when it comes down to racing in uh, the Formula One Alina. And of course, away from the Formula One, as we get to uh, make a hink up, a leak up of uh, the next WRC event on Glock is the Lord of Argentina, said to be running on the 21st to 24th of April. That is, uh, uh, next is, of course, the organizers have submitted a new itinerary, a rechange of, uh, actually, they have modified uh, uh, the route uh, for the 2016 uh, round. And of course, the organizers have come up with the inspection. Of course, uh, the FIA has already inspected uh, their change routes and, uh, of course, confirmed and it was uh, uh, identifying safety as a priority. Uh, the role of Argentina, the fourth round of the championship, the WRC, will be based on, uh, again, the city of Vera Carlos Perez near Cordoba, with a stage run through the surrounding three valleys, as you may be seeing in the drifts of the car you're seeing over there on the TV screens. Uh, the Saturday's original itinerary featured the trio of uh, the stages north of Vera Carlos Paz that have ever been used since 2003. And, of course, but... Uh, there, but that was changed in the following inspection by the FIA World Body Championship Safety Delegate Michael Matson late in February. And of course, he gave it a, a heads up uh, to confirm that the new route is to be taken and could be considered for this year's role of Argentina. And the Saturday's update itinerary comprises of uh, the various borders uh, to Tahiti. Uh, Tanti stage uh, that was used in 2015 and the uh, two new tests uh, that was Gitasis to Katera El Cadro and of course Bosco de la Arlo uh, to Baja de Bapuzo and both of which include the section of the stages uh, following from the previous uh, years. Also on the new year to this year in the change route of course the Sundays uh, actually I beg your pardon Thursday is early opening super special stage in Kodabo City. Let's get a bit of the talk of the cars and of course uh, uh, we get to see ourselves into the break after uh, those action happening. And um, of course we've seen as team, uh, different teams preparing as maybe see earlier last year. Let's get a bit to see the ambience and how it all happened in the role of Argentina. You see the kind of enthusiasm, the kind of love people have to their different teams. that awaits uh, the spectacular stages in Argentina with a few modifications in this year. As, uh, of course, remember I told you four of the stages run to be to be run this year have been 
clearly been changed. And of course, in the same conclusive, as we made, uh, we make a conclusive point on that. Uh, in the average confirmed as in for three WRC rounds, Kevin Abridge will compete in the next two European rounds of the WRC in Portugal and Sardinia uh, after Hyundai Motorsport confirmed the free event program for its test uh, drivers. However, the Dutchman and co-driver Seb Marshall will not get their hands on on the 2016 specification of the i20 uh, car, rally car, and instead they will use the same 2015 machine uh, which Hayden Pardon drove in the season opening uh, in the rally of Monte Carlo. You saw how the new teams for I-20, they almost uh, had it in the next, the uh, last year event that is in Mexico, that is uh, Hayden Pardon had his uh, misfortune breaking in the last stages of the ropes. Uh, and of course, uh, he gave away the lead to for the, actually the team Vaxel Watch and Yari Rativara. And of course, he managed, of course, that way. And a bridge, uh, who is the test driver, the official uh, test driver for I-20, uh, will be in second trial in Moby's uh, World Rally team and a Vodacom in uh, starting with the Rally of Portugal. That will be running in May uh, this year. Away from there, we can't go above that because we need to save time away from the uh, international beta. Uh, we get back onto our local scene. Don't go away. It's WBS Motorsport. Uh, keep it at WBS as we get into our local bit of it. Remember, we're having two guests uh, uh, who are in studio to tell us much the meeting gritty of what's happening here locally and what's ahead of us in the next uh, coming round of the 2016 season. Don't go away. Keep it at WBS TV. Mm -hmm.